Hi, it's Arda, and today I'm making a pretty card using a stencil and die from Alexandra Renke. This is a line of beautiful dies, stamps, and stencils from Germany that is now available at Ellen Hudson LLC. To make my tone-on-tone -tone background, I started using a pretty palette of spring colors in Catherine Pooler inks, and I blended them onto a white panel. I'll speed it up so you can see the colors going on. I used Melon Ice, Bellini, It's a Girl, and Sweet Sixteen. Next, I pulled out the Mandala stencil. I knew that I would be doing two layers of ink, so I didn't want either the stencil or the panel to move. I attached the stencil to my craft mat with purple tape acting as a hinge so that I could check my progress. I used my repositionable adhesive to adhere the panel to my craft mat. I used the same colors and a sponge dauber to give more depth to the background through the stencil. I checked often to make sure that I was happy with the contrast and the blend, and I worked my way from the bottom to the top. When I was finished that, I cleaned the stencil by putting a piece of scrap paper between the stencil and the panel and wiping it with a baby wipe. This just helped to ensure that when I went back to tap Versamark ink onto the panel, I wouldn't contaminate the ink pad and I didn't have to move anything. I added the Versamark and then I heat embossed the panel with iridescent embossing powder. Wow, does it ever sparkle! Once my background was finished, I inlaid the amazing die. These word dies are quite delicate, but they're so pretty. Carissa did a video a little while ago with tips and tricks for using these intricate dies, and I'll link to that in the video description below. I finished the card with some sparkling clear confetti from Pretty Pink Posh, and here it is. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.